Hi, welcome to Trailers from Hell. I'm Larry Karaszewski. Here's a movie that started as an idea from Frank Capra, but he couldn't get it made, so he handed it off to his friend William Wellman, who ran with it. Wellman actually is a much better fit. He really gets the physicality of the picture. It's quite impressive, it's a huge movie, and it's really entertaining. It's 1951's Westward the Women. <laughs> It's hard to call William Wellman an underrated director because he had one of the greatest careers of the studio system. But he's rarely talked about these days with the reverence given to folks with similar names like William Wyler or Billy Wilder. But William Wellman had a huge influential career with credits like the first Best Picture winner Wings and Jimmy Cagney's brutal gangster picture The Public Enemy. He was primarily known for tough men stuff. Think Wild Boys on the Road. But in my opinion, he was even better with women. He got great performances out of actresses. He directed the Janet Gaynor version of A Star is Born, Barbara Stanwyck in Night Nurse, plus Carol Lombard's Nothing Sacred. This film we are looking at here, Westward the Women, combines all his strengths. It's physical and raw. You feel the West in a way that usually gets glossed over in a studio Western. It's damn tough to cross this rugged country. And he makes a fairly realistic adventure out of it. And for a movie whose plot revolves around a group of women traveling to find husbands, you could almost call it feminist. These aren't your usual Hollywood submissive gals. These women have to fight and sweat and even die. And they feel like real people. There's even an unwed mother in the group. And Lord, the action here is fantastic. A stampede, an insane trek down a cliffside, there's no trail. They have to make their own. Robert Taylor is the man assigned to bring the women west, and he's terrific, maybe my favorite performance of his. There's a magnificent central performance from a French actress I know little about, Denise Darcel. She really holds the screen, plays a showgirl here, and apparently that's what she was in real life, a singer and a model, once crowned Miss Welder of 1952. She shows up Opposite Burt Lancaster and Vera Cruz, but hits hard times later, getting busted for shoplifting lingerie and filing for bankruptcy. All the ladies are great here. Hope Emerson really stands out for her sheer physical presence. This movie was completely off my radar and was recommended to me by director Alexander Payne. He's a big fan and I was pretty blown away, so I'm passing the recommendation on to you. Check out Westward the Women. Think you were going? I didn't care. Well, let's let's get back. But you did. Did what? Came after me. <laughs> 